Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Billy and today I'm unboxing the September 2017 Loot Crate. I think this month's theme is robotic. Yes. Uh, so, I'm excited. Let's just get right into it. Alright, let's get in this Loot Crate. We have got our shirt first. Alright, this shirt is from Blade Runner 2049, uh, Wallace Corporation. I have never seen Blade Runner, and I really don't really know what's going on in Blade Runner 2049. Uh, so I'm assuming that this is some cor sort of uh, entity from the movie. It's got a real weird like design inside of the shirt there, um, too. So that's kind of cool, like a little addition to it. That's kind of fun. Uh, it looks a little small, to be honest. It's my size, but it looks... Looks, it definitely looks short. There's not really anything special about it. That's the thing. It's just kind of a logo and a corporation. And so if you did know us from Blade Runner, you'd just be wearing somebody's corporate shirt on you. Or at least that's what someone would think. All right. Okay. So they put a spoiler out for this this month, and it was an Aliens figure. And I thought it was going to be much bigger than this. This is teeny tiny. So it's even like a buildable figure thing. Not only was this figure, like, not only did it look bigger in the advertisement that they had, but it looked like it was much better quality than this. Like, this does not look great to me. And I had to build it, and it was really difficult to put some of the pieces in. And it just doesn't look all that great. And this, I mean, this comes right off. <laughs> like, I could hit that thing the wrong way and that's coming off of there so I, I wasn't necessarily excited about the alien figure in the first place but I'm less excited about it now alright uh, collectible 3d wood model R2D2 I got one of these uh, it was the Assassin's Creed one I got one of these in BAM box a few weeks back um, and I never put it together, so <laughs> I highly doubt I'm going to end up putting this one together as well. Uh, I mean, it's fun. It, it's, it, it looks like a fun thing to do. Obviously, there's a lot of buildable things in this. This is a... I get the robotic tie-in with the, with the robots. I, I see what you're doing, Loot Crate. Uh, this is a Loot Crate exclusive, is what it says. So, uh... It's crazy that they wouldn't just put out a regular R2-D2 instead of it being a Loot Crate exclusive, but, you know, whatever. All right, we have got Star Wars The Next Generation Mirror Broken Origin of Data. This is um, the Mirror Universe. They've been doing uh, Star Trek The Next Generation Mirror Universe uh, comic. I got one for free comic book day, and so this, I guess, is the origin of Data. So this talks about where Data came from in it. And they also are advertising their Star Trek Loot Crate as well. Alright, this month's pin is this little guy. He's kind of cute. Not bad. Not, not a bad pin. Uh, I like, I don't know, I like when they do the license pins, but I also kind of like when they do just kind of a fun pin. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm always so torn on the pins. Alright, that's it. That's all that's in the box uh, for this month's Robotic from Loot Crate. Alright, let's go through this. We got the Blade Runner shirt. Wallace Corporation Blade Runner shirt. The Mirror Universe comic. The Wood Model R2-D2. The Alien uh, Queen Takes Bishop figure. And our loot pin. Um, not great. Not a great box. Um, I, I will say I appreciate them kind of sticking with the theme. Robotic is a good theme and kind of going with like the Android side of things. That's fun. I like that. Um, I was really hoping for a lot more from that figure. I mean, I was excited about it when I saw it and the advertising, but now I, I, I'm I really disappointed by it. Just how small it is and how just kind of flimsy it seems. This is not exciting to me. The build a figure I don't really care for. The comic I'll read, I will, I will check that out. And the shirt, I mean, the shirt looks like it's a little too small, so... Not their best for me personally. Maybe somebody uh, thinks that this is a great box. Maybe maybe this does connect for somebody, and that's fine. Uh, but for me personally, it doesn't really hit any of the marks. So tell me what your favorite item was this month in Loot Crate's robotic box. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you like about this box, or if you didn't like the box, let me know what you didn't like in the box. Uh, also, like and subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, 